Are you too busy to exercise? Are you way too out of shape? Do you live in an RV like we do and not have enough space? Well, I'm Char and I'm a certified personal trainer, fitness nutrition specialist, and I've designed a 10 minute program that's quick, easy, and can be done anywhere. So if you wanna help your health, keep watching today's Food and Fitness Friday. in our RV. Um, the rig is in the shop for a couple of weeks getting some very exciting work done. Keep watching for more on that later. And uh, so we're visiting friends down in Texas, so I'm actually in a house for the first time in a long time. But don't let that stop you from doing this workout because I actually designed this in my RV to make sure that I could do it in a very tiny space. Now I know you might be thinking, I'm too busy, I got way too much on my plate. My husband and I run two businesses, one of which is a nonprofit. So it's not just running the business, it's doing board meetings and fundraisers. So we know about busy. Then we have our other business, which is Camper Gigs. That's an online uh, website and app that helps you find work camping, camp hosting, and volunteer opportunities. So we're always busy doing things with that. Plus, we're on the road. We're driving. We're doing volunteer projects. So we have a lot going on. And that's just not including all of the day-to-day -day stuff, the cooking, the cleaning, the laundry, you know, the making lunches and all of that stuff. So I know about being busy and I know about a tiny space, but this workout is fast, easy to do, and you can literally do it from anywhere. You could do this in a hotel bathroom if you needed to. So let's get to it. 10 easy exercises, one minute each. It's gonna go on a rotation. And this is something that we call a cardio HIT workout. Now HIT actually stands for high intensity interval training, but it's not any more intense than what you're willing to do. So are you ready? Let's get to it. All right, you can do this with a regular egg timer or your cell phone. Um, I just put it on stopwatch. When I press start, I'm gonna march in place for one minute and go. Okay, for the next minute, I'm gonna do what I call half jacks. Jumping jack, but I'm not doing the full jump. This is gonna be easier on your joints, and again, can be done in a tiny space without wrecking your rigs, landing feet or anything, or jacks. Jacks don't hurt your jacks. After this, you're gonna to move to march in place again. After you do a march in place for a minute, you're gonna do a front step punch. Then you're gonna go back to march in place. My heart rate's already getting up there, starting to work up a little bit of a sweat. And look, I haven't even moved in my space. All right, after a minute of marching in place again, you're gonna do right arm to left knee. Go at your pace, do what you can. Slowly over time, you're gonna build resistance. After you do this for a minute, go back to march in place. Again, you're gonna do this as a minute. This is going to be kind of like an active rest. You're gonna catch your breath, you're gonna keep your body moving though, so that you're keeping that metabolism and that heart rate up just a little bit. After this, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And you're gonna do this for a minute. And then back to march in place. And our last exercise, that's gonna be the standing hamstring curl. You wanna move both the arms and the legs so you're keeping that heart rate up. And after a minute of this, you're done. And that's it. 10 exercises, technically only five with marching in place in between, but 10 easy things that you can do in 10 minutes gets the heart rate up. You're gonna be building muscle. You're gonna be burning fat and you're gonna be feeling great in just 10 minutes a day 
five days a week. So what are you waiting for? Get on board and start doing your 10 minutes of exercise. Well, that's it for today's Food and Fitness Friday. As always, if you like this video, give us the thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share it with your family and friends. We'll see you next week.